What up guys, ECO, YGO, back at it again, here with the metagame, and we're going to go over my undefeated scrap dinos. It's pretty much just a very standard dino list for today, but uh, kind of just like advanced for the last format before Tier Elements and Spray, but theoretically should still hold up. We're going to go in with the three copies of Oviraptor. Everyone should know what Oviraptor does by now. Dino's been out for years. Um, it's your play starter. It's the best normal summon of the deck. Um, just search or pitch anything you want. Follow it up with the three copies of Baby Sarasaurus. Um, it's the extender of the deck. You have Ovi Raptor and Plus Baby. You have a like a three negate board, a side flock. You have any combo you can ever think of with the dinos. And then the very last three of we play is the three copies of Scrap Raptor to initiate the Scrap Engine. Scrap Raptor came out in Lightning Vortex. It's just an amazing part of dinos just being able to like either pop a baby to trigger off the baby or pop itself to start the scrap combo. It's extremely useful. Searches off of um, a baby can summon it. Gets, you can search off a fossil dig. It's an amazing part of the combo. We're going to go over two copies of the Animador and Archosword. Um, you don't need two. You can you can totally get by with one. Um, I like two copies just in case I open a copy of it and I start in hand. I still have one in deck to um, use the miss combo with and start rolling that way. So if you want to like make an extra slot um, in the deck, you can totally cut the Archosaur down. It don't matter. I just like having the versatility of always keeping one in the deck. Um, this is your main pill getter. Um, it can also pop a baby in the hand, start your rolling that way. So again, like Archosaur plus babies full combo, Scrap Raptor plus babies full combo, Ovi Raptor plus babies full combo. Um, then we'll just go over more ways that baby plus any other cards combo. Two copies of UC2. Um, a lot of people are playing this at one. Um, however, you have to play the two. Three's too much. One's not enough. The fact that you're able to just um, summon this from the hand if you really come down to it in grind games. Or, you know, just obviously summon it off the pill. This is the best monster that has ever come in the structure deck. It is the best card for any, like, main deck archetype out right now. The quick effect Book of Moon that literally can trigger off any of the cards in your deck. You know, you could UCT, Pop Baby, summon another extender and start rolling off that way. If you're desperate, it's a 3500 beat stake, just pops everything. So that's it for all the multiples, now we're going to go down to the one ofs. Giant Rex is just a dino extender, you want to banish it off of the pill. Um, when you go to summon UCT, it gives you another free level 4 for you to go into Link or XE plays with it. Then the two parts of the scrap engine right here being Chimera and Golem. So the scrap combo is um, relatively insane for the deck. So it's a uh, Raptor. Raptor will pop itself to search out the Chimera. Um, because you pop the scrap with Raptor, you get the additional normal summon of a scrap. Um, normal summon the Chimera. Chimera on normal summon brings back a scrap tuner, which Raptor happens to be. So you can bring the Raptor back out, and from there you can go into your scrap Wyvern. Which then Wyvern gets you Golem. Wyvern revives Chimero, pop a card, Golem then revives Raptor, so off of just this um, one Raptor, if you do the scrap combo correctly, you end up with four bodies on field. Your other pill target is Pancaratops, because um, of the just quick effect pop a card. It's a relatively big body, if it comes down to it, you can also just use it as it's meant to, and just summon it from the hand and go off that way. And then I play one Quatless. Um, a lot of builds don't play any Quatless at all. I feel like that is an understatement, especially with um, Branded and Des with um, Branded Despia, and especially like Tiaram and Shadal kind of run around. The fact that you're just able to do this, destroy any Dino, and then negate a Spell Trap, in itself should make it a decent pill target, depending on your matchup. But just the fact that it's another way you can get pill also. Then, and if you don't do any of that, and it's later on in the game after you know you done resolve miss, you done like banish cards, the seven UCTs for pills. If this is in your hand, you return five of your dinos back to your deck, like a misc, an over raptor, whatever the hell you banished throughout the game, and kind of regain all your resources that way. So Quatlis is definitely a card that you should probably play one. Um, going on, we have the one misc. It's only at one. Uh, three's too much. One's not enough. Um, but that's all we got access to. It's it's just the best card in the entire deck. The fact that you can pitch it, make all your dinos immune for the main phase, and you can banish it for the Archosaur. Another reason, cool thing, is that Misk plus Baby here is also full combo. Because you'll pitch the Misk, summon the Baby, banish the Misk for Archosaur, and the Archosaur pops the Baby and starts rolling that way. 
Uh, we're scumbags, so we play Scythe. Um, just to Scythe block. This is a going first or second. A variant of Dinos. If you go first, you Scythe block and you win. If you go second, you play Dinos and you win, so you kind of just win. Um, Scythe shouldn't need any explaining. It's Scythe. It does what it does, and it's probably going to get hit, but fuck it. Now we're just going to go over all the hand traps. We're playing two Bell, three Valor, and three Ash. So the reason why I chose this um, lineup is that Ash is, all, is um, arguably the best hand trap in the entire format. You can make an argument for DD Crow, but Ash is great. Effect Valor just for like the monster effect negation. You know, negate a Sprite Blue, negate um, the little um, uh, the little flu, the Rabina, negate uh, Spriggan's Kit or like uh, Aldubar. And then Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion's good just because like it kind of like just keeps the opponent from using any effects in the graveyard. A cool thing that like can, comes up all the time with Ghost Bell is that they'll try to hit the Mist or a Wyvern or a Baby off the graveyard with Call by the Grave. Which at this point you can just like dump Ghost Bell and then it negates the Call by. You can kind of just like go go on with your normal Dino shenanigans. Um, hand, hand trap lineup you can change to wherever the hell you like. These are just like the eight I play that I enjoy. Uh, three Fossil Dig, because if you have three Rotos in the deck, you should probably play all three of them. Um, any level six delivered dinos. Um, the best card in the deck is Lost World. Uh, makes Lost World plus Oviraptor is also full combo, because you summon Oviraptor, uh, search out any of your, um, like your Misk, then you can pitch the Misk, um, they get the token off of the, um, Oviraptor summon from Lost World. You'll go to use Miz, um You'll go to use Oviraptor to try to bring back the Misk by targeting the Jereg token uh, for destruction. Lost World protection. You can destroy Baby off the deck, and then it gets you rolling that way. So if you have Lost World plus Oviraptor, you can get by the end of just like that little combo. You end up with um, Oviraptor, Scrap Raptor, and Animador and Archosaur with a Baby in rotation in the graveyard. So Lost World's nuts. If you're going to hit this deck at all, it should be Lost World. Uh, going on now, it's a two double evolution pill. You only play two, you play three, it's way too much. You don't ever want to see this. You want to search it off of the Archosaur or the Quat list. Um, if you play one, you're not playing enough. You want to play equal amount of double evolution pills as you play Tyrannos. So if you play one Tyranno, you play one evolution pill. If you play two Tyrannos like I do, you play two evolution pills. And then the one of the one call by, and the one terraforming. Terraforming switch out Lost World, call by because it's call by. And then the very last two cards we play is D Barrier, because being able to flip this up against a Despia matchup is too funny. And really, the only deck that kind of like this sucks against is uh, Flu and Marincess, because it doesn't hit links and Flu don't special summons. This is also really good against the Shadal Tyramids, and it's also really good against Sprite, because you just call XYZ and then they can't Gigantic Sprite and go off that way. Going on now to the extra deck, it's two copies of Link Karibo. Because after you get done using your Archosaur, you can link off the Archosaur for Link Karibo. And then off of that one interaction, you have the fodder you need for double, for double evolution pill being Archosaur and Link Karibo. Two copies of Scrap Wyvern. We play two um, simply because um, I want to be able to use the combo multiple times in the game. And in my side deck, I play Pot of Extravagance. That way, if the whole like stop in the extra deck thing is not enough if I'm playing against like um, flu then I obviously want to be more aggressive with it and then the scythe lock and the deer bears don't do anything against flu so you take those out for the three pot of extra and you don't want to banish all your weapons or link karibos off of the extra so that's why we play multiple copies of both uh, dagda for the scythe lock because it's the scythe lock and you need dagda for it um, appaloosa it's the best link three in the game and then my link four choice is unchained a bomb simply because it has synergy with the babies um, if you're going to make a, a Link 4, you can drop the A-bomb, pop a baby left over on the field, baby triggers, and then you get another pop because the card got popped. So this can be used to trigger two babies, get two more dinos, or you can pop a baby, get a dino, then pop a card on your opponent's field. It's just a good way to like either like start rolling in dinos later in the game or start making like big power plays to go for game. Uh, one Dolka, because it's Dolka, just... Uh, Detach one, negate a card, it's pretty good. Two Logia, um, detach two, negate any monster effect, it's pretty good. And then for the other fours, we play Castell, because it's my favorite. Rank four in the entire game. You could, for the next slot, you could pretty much play anything. But I like Castell. I like a Utopia package. 
um, because like a five grand beat stick comes up. These three spot, spots right here, or really the link, the second link ribbon, the second wyvern, could be any five slots you want. These are just the five I like. Uh, then the tornado dragon to get the side flock going because you set side and you use tornado to pop it on your opponent's turn and then you just like half fuck you don't play. And then finally, Borderlord Savage Dragon. If we extend really hard and we already know we're going to win, then you set Savage Dragon up just so you can make sure you win. Savage Dragon is not necessary at all because you will most likely win off the side flock. But in case you are scared, you make Savage Dragon and then you make sure you win. For the side deck, it's just Taylor 2. The meta I play in, we got the three Lancias for flu matchups. The three DD Crow, arguably one of the best hand traps of the format. You can shove these in if you really want more hand traps. Personally, I only put these in against uh, like old lich maps of snipe, um, snipe out the Golden Lords before like they can get multiple into rotation. Snipe out uh, fusion materials that like I know they're going to be needed for um, the summon of some of the branded dragons. So like if they only have one. Alabaz in rotation, you crow the Alabaz, and then everything just kind of fizzles out. An extra quad list, that way if we need to go harder onto the dinos and start being more aggressive, the rest of the side deck is to go more aggressive into the dinos. So you would take out the Scythe Lock, take out the D Barriers, take out the Scrap Package, and we're just going to play good old-fashioned dinos with the rest of the side deck. So the quad list, the Tyranno Infinity, you banish four off of this, this becomes a 4k beat stick, and you just go, ha <laughs> ha. Then we got two copies of Twin Twister for Spell Trap Destruction because Mystic Mind runs around and God and God forbid it ever gets banned because it's never going to. Three copies, sorry, two copies of Dark Ruler No More. If you go heavier into the dinos, you put these in because you're going second at that point and you win. And then for when we go heavier into the dinos, three copies of Extra because it's the best pot card for dino because they don't care about the extra deck if you take out all the Cyphlock crap and all the scrap package, you don't give a damn about any card in that extra deck anyway. So you just play the extra so you can see more dinos and then you win that way. All in all, this um, this deck has went undefeated in, um, in like the little tournaments we do here for the past two ones we've done. Um, the matchups are extremely easy when it comes to dinos because the deck kind of pilots itself for you. Um, as long as you just remember, get baby in rotation and at some point like stunt on them with a scrap package. You usually just win. It it doesn't take two, it it take it doesn't take more than two brain cells to pilot this deck. The more and more you just go over the combos, the more nature the more second nature it goes. There's really only one combo in this entire deck, but there's seven different ways to do that one combo. But you end up with the same thing all seven times, so it really don't matter. Just memorize that baby plus any dino is combo, and then you kind of just win. So that's scrap dinos, and that's pretty much just going to be the end of it. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe to the metagame. Hit the bell icon.